So this is question number 18, uh, 2018 KCSE Mathematics Super 2, uh, which is on GRASC. But A, you are required to complete the table below for the equation y is equals to x squared minus 4x plus 2. Uh, so we are given the table here. So you substitute the values of x in our equation or the function. Uh, so when x is 0, this will be 0, that will be 0, uh, mi minus 4 times 0, that is 0, so x, y will be 2. Okay, when x is 1, uh, y is equals to 1 minus 4, that will be minus 3, uh, minus 3 plus 2, you get minus 1. So when x is 2, uh, this will be 4 uh, minus a that is minus uh, 4 mi plus 2 that should give you minus 2 uh, then you have um, when x is 3 you substitute you get x is minus 1 when x is 4 you get uh, y is 2 and when x is 5 you get to, uh, y is 7 so those are the values that you get and by feeding the correct values you get yourself um, uh, two marks uh, the second part of the question is you are provided with a grid uh, do you draw the function y is equals to x squared plus 4x plus 2 for 0 less than or equals to x less than 5 uh, you are instructed to use 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the x-axis and 1 cm to represent 1 unit on the y-axis. So let's see how you do that. So this is a graph that I have uh, plotted and when you are plotting your graph always remember you use your free hand uh, no use of ruler and ensure you are, your curve is smooth so that is very important uh, these two points uh, then you must always label your label your graph so that is the the, the, the function uh, so that is what we are supposed to plot. Uh, from there, we move to uh, the the other part and see what we are supposed to do. In section C, we are told to use a graph to solve the equation uh, x squared minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. And remember our function was x squared minus 4x plus 2 is equals to y so what it means is we find the values of x y is, is equated to 0 so what we are required here is to find the values of x when y is equals to 0 the values of x will be those points where the graph cuts the x axis because that is where our y is 0 so let's go back to our graph and see what the, what are the values of x when x is equals to 0. So this is a graph that we had and uh, we are required to find x when y is equals to uh, 0. So x from what we have here uh, x the, the value of x is where the graph cuts the x axis and y is equals to zero so this is a point where y is equals to zero uh, and therefore our our graph cuts uh, we remember we had assigned two centimeter squares uh, equals to one unit along the x-axis so the small square represent uh, 0 0.1 and here i can see we have uh, 0 0.6 so x is equals to uh, 0 0.6 because of the allowance of the error we say it is plus or minus 0 0.05 again the graph cuts the x-axis at uh, 
3.4 around 3.4 3. 3. Uh, uh, 3. 5. so we say or uh, x is 3.4 plus or minus the allowance of 0 0.05 so these are the values uh, of x when y is equals to 0 so that's how you do it so this question we are told by do drawing a suitable line use a graph in b to solve the equation so this is the equation x squared minus 5 x plus 3 and remember the the, the our, our function was uh, x squared plus minus 4x uh, uh, plus 2 is equals to y uh, so what's the difference here so we write here our x squared minus uh, 5x uh, plus 3 is equals to 0. We use these two equations and subtract. Uh, so x minus y is uh, x squared minus x squared is 0. Minus 4x uh, minus 5x, it will be minus 4x plus 5. So there will be left with x. Uh, then 2. Uh, so we are subtracting 2 minus 3 will be left with uh, 1 is equals to uh, y minus 0 is 0. So we have the difference between the two equations is y is equals to x minus 1. From there, we will need to plot the graph, uh, to plot this graph, which is a linear graph. And we only need uh, a maximum of uh, 3 points. So we can make a, a table, a, a simple table, and say this is our x, this is our y. Uh, and therefore, when x is 0, uh, 0, y is minus 1. You substitute in our uh, linear equation here, or linear function. So when x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. And when x is 2, 2 minus x. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we are going to use these values to plot a graph and that will help us to solve this equation. So we are going to plot the graph of uh, y is equals to uh, x minus 1 and we had already plotted the, uh, we had already made a graph. So we identify this point first. Then, because this is a linear function, we are going to use a ruler to plot, uh, to, to draw that line. So, when x is 0, y is minus 1. So, this is where we have minus 1. When x is 1, y is 0. When x, when x is 1, y is 0. So, that is a point. And when x is 2, y is 1. So that is where we have our point. With these three points, we are going to plot uh, this linear graph. So this is a graph that we have plotted uh, of uh, y is equals to x minus 1. And from this, we can now solve the equation. So to solve that equation, this is a point. This is, we get the, uh, the solution by reading the values where the two graphs cut each other and uh, one of the point is this one uh, where we have uh, uh, so when x is uh, when x uh, we have x is equals to uh, 0 0.7 and because of the allowance it is plus or minus 0 0.05 and the other point is this one uh, which is around 4.4 uh, so we say it is 4.4 plus or minus uh, 0 0.05 that is the allowance uh, that we give to due to maybe the accuracy of the the drawing 
and it is around even in exam you still get full marks but uh, make sure that you don't uh, uh, you don't give a wide allowance or you don't uh, your value is not too low or too big for example if your value is 0 0.6 and then that you can so if it's 0 0.3 it should be uh, as near to the correct mark as possible and that is why we are giving an allowance of uh, of uh, 0 0.05 so that brings us to the end of that question uh, if you do all you have done you earn yourself 10 marks